Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, hopefully you guys are liking this new style of video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button, make sure you smash that like button as well, but in today's video, as you all know, the alpha has come to an unfortunate end, I was having so much fun playing the alpha, literally, I don't even want to go back to playing Modern Warfare right now, I'd rather just wait for the beta, but as we all know, that isn't going to happen, I'll probably play Modern Warfare right after this video, but... This is going to be my final thoughts on the alpha, what I thought of the game, what I think needs to be changed and what I did enjoy. Uh, so we'll start off with you know my general thoughts on the game. I love this game, I absolutely love it. It's literally, it feels like a reimagined Black Ops 4 to me personally. Uh, I know originally I did say and what I'd been told was it was Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 4 had a baby. Uh, I'm not seeing too much resemblance of Black Ops 2 in this game, but Black Ops 4 most definitely, and I did really, really enjoy Black Ops 4. I think... Obviously, this could potentially be better than Black Ops 4, in my opinion. There's no manual healing, even though I really did enjoy the manual healing feature. I know it definitely was not a fan favourite feature, you know, with everybody else. I know a lot of people hated it. People who I used to play with didn't play that year. Just simple fact, because of the manual healing, they just did not like that concept. But I thought it was a very tactical concept to the game. I thought it made, you know, brought a different element to the game and how you had to constantly be aware of that. But... You know, it is what it is, I, mean, I think it made the game faster paced and unfortunately this game doesn't have it. But, on the plus side, the ma the automatic healing doesn't take as long as Modern Warfare, whereas in that game it takes absolutely ages and can really, really slow the uh, pace of the game down. So, that is a massive, massive plus in my opinion. The game itself plays amazing, this is only an alpha stage game, uh, so obviously the game is only going to get better from what I can gather. And the movement is on point. I hope they don't nerf it too much or change the movement too much. I think they maybe just speed it up a little bit. I love how there's, you know, unlimited sprint. It definitely brings for fast-paced action. Uh, the maps in the alpha was a little bit big, so at times it wasn't very fast-paced. And in the mosh pit playlist, like in the game you're seeing right now, I kept getting team death matches. And I don't know about you or, you know, if you did experience this. I was constantly playing TDM and the games did seem to be very, very slow-paced, uh, in my opinion. But, you know, it was definitely not a slow pace of Modern Warfare, it was still very fast, uh, Just I just hope they could up the movement a little bit more, just make it a little bit faster. But if not, I will not complain, I thought the movement was literally spot on, it was amazing. I kind of like the way the streaks work in this game, uh, not as much as, you know, a, a regular streak system, kill streak system or score streak system where if you die it resets. But it is what it is, it's definitely something new, something fresh, and I do kind of enjoy it to be fair. Uh, getting a chopper gunner, you know... The amount of points you need does, you know, not let the less experienced player get these high streaks, which I was worried about. So the chopper gun, I think it's like 9,000 score. And to get 9,000 score, you know, you need a lot of kills. And by getting kills, as you can see, I'm on a kill streak here. I get the 10 kill streak in a minute, I think. But as you saw, I got the 9 kill streak. I got an extra 450 points for the simple fact I'm on a streak. So going on streaks does help massively towards your kill streak. So that is a bonus. So the score streaks, I think they've, you know, Nailed it. I think it's a very, very good feature. I'd love to know what you guys think of the score streaks, as I do believe it is kind of a controversial subject in the moment. The only huge complaint I had in the alpha was the skill-based matchmaking. I thought it was next level, something I'd never, ever experienced. The skill-based matchmaking in this alpha was unbelievable. I went from playing bots on the first day of the alpha to the next day playing absolute gods. Uh, in the video I did see do yesterday, if you guys didn't see it, I didn't really, I said I didn't experience much skill-based matchmaking, but shortly after making that video and playing like maybe five more games, it kicked in and I was not getting slapped, but I definitely wasn't doing as well as I was in this gameplay you're seeing right now, which, you know, I was just playing casually and I ended up uh, Getting a fair amount of kills and very few deaths. I can't remember exactly how many I do get. But nonetheless, I was loving this game. The, the maps, in my opinion, are a little bit big, as I j did just say. My favourite map is probably going to be Satellite, as I'm pretty sure most people would agree. Followed by Moscow, then Miami, and then probably Armada, and then Crossroads. I thought Crossroads was an awful map. I didn't even play one full game. The simple fact, I thought it was a little bit too big. It reminded me a lot of Ground War of Modern Warfare. Maybe if there was more players in the lobby, I might have enjoyed it a lot more. But in the alpha, I definitely, I seriously hated that map. And for the same for Armada, it was a little bit too big. It was the first map I did play. Uh, as I thought the 12v12 DOM would have been a better option to play. I was wrong. The mosh pit mode was, even though I did get TDM a lot of the time. I didn't play a single hardpoint game either, which I was a little bit disappointed at. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. There's still time. The beta is only around the corner. My favourite map, like I did say, is Satellite. I'd love to know what your guys' favourite map was. I had very high hopes for Miami. Uh, but it turned out that was an awful map as well. 
Uh, I didn't really like that map to be fair, but there's so many more maps we'll be getting, so hopefully, you know, we'll be able to have some amazing maps. Hopefully some remastered maps, that's what I kind of hope for. I love to play Firing Range. Obviously there'll be Nuketown, 100%, it's a Treyarch game. Uh, and maybe like Summit or something along them lines as well. I really did enjoy playing the remastered maps in Black Ops 4, but we will wait and see. If not, it's not too much of a biggie. You know, the maps seem to be pretty decent anyway. Uh, they're not awful maps. Like Miami, yeah, I don't like it, but it's not an awful map, let's be honest. In terms of the guns, I think we're going to see a huge change to the guns. The AK-74U in particular. This gun is it has zero recoil, it kills insanely quick, it was definitely the best gun in the alpha for me, as I'm sure it was for a lot of people. The XM4 or the M4 or the Commando, which it does look very, very similar to, uh, was decent. I didn't really get on with it too much, I felt like it had a little, lot of recoil. Maybe if I uh, played with it a little bit more and got used to the recoil patterns and had some recoil control, I might have enjoyed it a little bit more, but I didn't even give it the chance, I just wanted to enjoy you know, the full experience of the alpha in general. So I used the AK-74U most of the time just to be able to slay. And for me as well, which I'm looking a very I'm looking forward to more than anything in this whole game. I have so many things I want to look forward to, but the main thing which I'm surprised at this year is sniping. I found myself on the last day of the beta, so today, uh, pretty much sniping all day long. I, you know, I wasn't the best of snipers. I've never had the best of snipers, but it's definitely something I'd love to get better at. And I can find my, I can see myself sniping a lot more in this game. It was very, very fun. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people talking how it's going to get nerfed. Uh, obviously, that's the point in the alpha to find out what's overpowered, you know, what's not balanced. And sniping was very fun. A lot of people are sniping. I've seen so many people getting clips with snipers. There was very, very easy to use kind of but not at the same time obviously you still have the have to be you know accurate and all that kind of stuff but there was definitely definitely very very fun to use which i've not experienced in a long time uh, obviously sniping in general is fun for me anyway like using the car on modern warfare it's pretty much like that on this game i would say it's close to that but it reminded me a lot like sniping on black ops 2 uh, to be honest that is the only thing that resembled black ops 2 in this game for me it uh, was the sniping it brought back a lot of memories and i can definitely see myself sniping a lot more this year and you know trying to better myself at sniping 100% so all in all, I'm going to give the beta like an 8 out of 10, uh, the alpha sorry, an 8 out of 10. It wasn't perfect, but it was very, very close to being perfect. It was definitely a lot more fun than Modern Warfare, and I've had a lot more fun playing the alpha this coming, this last weekend than Modern Warfare. So I'd love to know what you guys' opinions are on the alpha. I loved it. 32 and 12 we do in that game, so a pretty decent game on Moscow. So I do like this map, but satellite is my favorite but i'd love to know your guys opinion on the cold alpha beta it was very fun for me and i hope it was for you guys too i'm looking very forward to the beta so make sure you guys are smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that dropping a like make sure you follow me on my instagram and my twitter links for them they're in the description below but apart from that guys thank you guys ever so much for watching i hope to catch you guys on the next one peace